Thank you, Kara. We have um, word that, that uh, as we said before, the Sussex body is still throwing off heat, and he is probably still alive but weak, according to Boston Police Department official Pete Williams, uh, who we were speaking to just before, noted that uh, in the shootout in the in last night in the early morning uh, today, Jahar uh, Sarnav and his brother uh, Tamerlan Sarnav um, were involved in a shootout with quite a bit of gunfire. Uh, his brother, his older brother, who was suspect number one in the black hat, was pronounced dead at a local hospital. And it is believed because of the blood in the car and a trail of blood leaving from the car that Jahar was wounded in that. So uh, if you think about the number of hours it has been since that, this is someone who has been in hiding presumably for the last 14, 15, 16 hours with presumably gunshot wounds. Um, it's hard to see exactly how this ends in uh, um, him being alive unless there is a negotiation established and he surrenders to the police. We also have uh, a statement from the family of Sh We're going to go to NBC News coverage at this moment. They walked away from their defensive positions. I would say this is over. Wow. All right. Well, so, we'll and, and, and a successful Dan, you said a successful recovery, which I, we would, would we would imply that they have uh, this 19-year-old bombing suspect in custody and he's alive. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know about that assumption. I think uh, you've got the guy recovered with no injury. Yeah. And um, uh, whether uh, I'm going to see if uh, they may throw me back here by this position, but is he alive? No okay. telling. No Dan. telling. Dan, um, you're watching from there. Cooper's on the other side talking to his sources. He may be able to add to what you've said. Uh, Steve, what do you right. know? Okay, he's, al uh, he's alive. He's in custody oh, and he's alive. And they've asked for a medic to the scene. Okay, suspect That's number okay. two, alive. He's alive. Uh, suspect in number custody. two. He's alive. He's in custody. And they're asking for a medic to the scene, which means uh, they're going to be trying to treat him or whatever, you know, specifics. I don't know what that means, but he is in custody. Excellent. Well, that's the best news. Uh, 842 on Friday night. Is after... it over, Rob? Is it all over? Just listening to Steve it's talk. All... It's over. It's over? They have an ambulance, ambulance there on the scene. They the think ambulance that... is coming out of the scene. And yeah. they think the this guy is in good enough shape that they'll they'll be able to... Uh, we see now so. the ambulance actually pulling in right now. So Outstanding. We'll follow that. That's uh, great news, okay. Steve. And you wonder how, Steve, we have any idea how they... So the ambulances can, cannot go to the scene, and, and, and we don't know what condition he's in. Is that correct? Okay, thanks. Okay, uh, yeah, um, just, to let, uh, just to recap um, from the scene, uh, according to my source, uh, the suspect is in custody. He is alive. Um, we don't know what condition he's in, uh, but they've called for a medic to the scene. It's still considered a hot scene right now, so, um, you know, they're still officially securing the scene um but that would uh, go along with what uh, dan was saying with that uh you know light applause that he may have heard from his vantage point well it's been a horrifying uh week in boston uh in the commonwealth the nation the the, the world actually has been watching what's happening here this chain of events and uh really about the best uh, possible outcome tonight the second suspect wanted in the marathon bombings now alive captured in custody and about to be attended by men uh, there in Watertown. Yeah, and we don't know ha what his condition is right now, but Dan Housley, Dan, you're joining us with some uh, updated info as well, or confirmation of what Steve just said. That's right. State police gave me a strong head shake when I asked if he was alive. Uh, a senior officer telling me, yes, he is alive. And uh, it appears that they're not likely bringing him out uh, this direction. Uh, they appear to be at ease, and so I'm suggesting they're probably going out Birch um, or Franklin area right now. Um, but everybody is uh, standing down, satisfied. Uh, a few of the officers are uh, taking pictures uh, uh, to commemorate the moment of this uh, successful end. Uh, and incredible to think when uh, this city was uh, and, and cities surrounding it were shut down because the concerns and the danger and the worries about how this would end. And it ended uh, with a whimper, not a bang. We had some bangs earlier, and it could have easily ended with more. Uh, but these officers, whatever they did, were able to bring at least the end of this to a, a peaceful conclusion. And that's uh, fantastic, Dan. And of course, uh, now, as you as you mentioned, the medic is arriving there at the boat to check the condition of 19-year-old Jahar. 
Sonayev, and we're going to figure out exactly the extent of his injuries. Perhaps we'll get that information, but he, we know he is injured, but he is alive. And Steve, Steve and Dan both uh, getting confirmation from their sources that he is alive. And Dan actually witnessed even some of the some of the police officers there actually giving an applaud. Let's uh, head outside to Susan, and Susan, you also have some additional info. Uh, Reed, we were just standing here awaiting uh, the very latest. A Massachusetts state trooper walked by, and he says he's alive and he's in custody, to which the folks here who've been waiting uh, started to applaud and said, good job, good job. It was actually a sense of relief for, for folks here. He walked by and just very calmly said, you know what, he's alive, he's in custody. And it was a great relief to not only the uh, folks who live here, uh, but the folks who have traveled and been covering this uh, for several uh, days now. Um, that's the very latest on this end. There's a sense of, of great relief as we try to figure out um, if we can get a some video of this this suspect as he either gets into um, an ambulance or if he's brought out, because this is the direction that all of the vehicles had been entering. We're hoping that they're going to be exiting this way, and we can bring some of that video to you. All right, Susan, that sounds good. You almost can sense that there's a collective sigh of relief, shoulders dropping, uh, with the, the news that the second suspect is in custody in uh, Watertown and alive. Uh, Boston uh, police also tweeting uh, that information, and uh, we've seen people on the scene there clapping. Uh, Steve talked about uh, the officers uh, taking a couple of photos to uh, remember uh, this night, and who will ever forget it. And finally, we're going to get some, hopefully soon, uh, I mean, at some point, we're going to get some answers as to exactly why he and his brother um, allegedly set those bombs at the Boston Marathon, the finish line on Boylston Street, and then 50 yards away, detonating 15 seconds apart. All right, we are Showing back from coverage from our local affiliate in Boston, Double HDH, and what you just heard was a remarkable and genuinely surprising end to the standoff and manhunt that has absolutely dominated the nation's attention and has closed down the city of Boston for the last 28 hours. What we have just seen is the end to the standoff. It appears, and we are, Boston Police has, uh, tweeted that the suspect, Jahar Sarnaev, suspect number two, as identified in the FBI's photos yesterday in the Boston Marathon bombing on Monday that killed three people and injured over 100, that that suspect has been apprehended alive and is in custody, which I have to say, everyone watching this play out through all the throughout the entire day, everyone who monitored the news last night on scanners and on social media and here on cable news, it is truly and genuinely uh, surprising and somewhat remarkable and an incredible job by law enforcement that he was brought in alive. The suspect, once again, Jahar Sarnarev, the 19-year-old American citizen who is the su suspect number two in the bombing, was just brought in alive in custody with law enforcement. Let's bring in NBC's